How about uh, if I just cauterize the wounds, huh? Oh, that that's not good. Whoopsie doopsie. Sorry about that, friend. Immortal blood. Is this about vampires? I'm sure it is. Let us hold on to this for just a little while. Ah, and the cage. Nothing but bloody rags inside. Ominous. Oh, steel sword of sapping. Should I try this enchantment table? Hmm. Might I be able to find something nice? Yes. Look at all of these unenchanted items I have. Let's uh, take this vampire armor. Hmm. Unfortunately, I don't know any spells that can be uh, cast into it. Which is much as I suspected. Hmm. But I do know what I can work with. A bit of alchemy. Never hurt anyone. Yes. Let us mix up a brew. A health brew. As we always do first thing. To bless the crafting of everything else, you see. Hmm. Lingering magicka damage. I should make some uh, damage health potions, yes? This should do not quite nicely. Uh, add some parasol moss as well. Yes. Quite nice. Good start. Ah. Decreased magicka regeneration by 100%. This has an additional effect to it. Interesting. Good for those mages. Pesky, pesky mages. Yes, I'm quite liking this. Hmm, adding the Nern Ruta reduces the amount of poison. Interesting. I suppose I shall keep this mixture pure. Just for the sake of uh, the sake of more damage to my opponent, of course. Lingering damage magicka. Interesting. Let us try some of this. Must watch out for the mages, you see. I think I have much resist uh, fire. Hmm. But can one ever have enough? That is the true question. Hmm, I can't seem to uh, be able to combine these. Oh, of course. Half and half. Where has Brenda's mind gone? My goodness. Let's make this resist fire. Resist magic? Very, very nice. It uh, only does a little bit, but it's so multifaceted. Ultimate multi-purpose. Resist frost? Yes, I suppose we should make this as well. I've got plenty of these to make. Oh my goodness. I must remember to sell some of these indeed. So much purple mountain flower, so much thistle. Hmm. Not a bit of a uh, restore stamina. We've also got the weakness to fire. That could be a good idea for one that shoots fire from their hands. Hmm? <laughs> ah, and here some restore stamina. Could stand to sell some of these as well. Once we get back to town, making myself quite a pretty penny. Hmm. This poison, yes. Not so much need for this. Uh, I shall keep the Nern root for now. Ah, oh, my bag. Quite heavy. Hmm. But we mustn't leave any uh, 
any treasures around for some vampires to find should they decide to re-inhabit this place which I'm sure they will at some point hmm? knowing vampires as they are they will go looking for their friends Frontier, Conquest Brandar enjoys a bit of Conquest I shall take this book with me Yes The Dawnbreaker came in quite handy here Brandar is pleased with his gift from Meridia Excellent that we got the chance to test it out to see its true power. I was quite surprised that it lit the, uh, lit the undead on fire. I was even more surprised that they exploded upon expiration. <laughs> ah, but I suppose I should not be. The power of the Daedric Princess is great. Ah, Brandar's power is growing as well. Perhaps one day I should be able to enchant a sword in such a fashion. Ah, more giants. Randar will lay low. Mustn't, uh, mustn't get too far into the camp, you see. Not a good idea. I suppose I've brewed enough. I will leave these torch bugs alone for now. Poor little things, just trying to go about their life. Someone do something. Oh, something got done. That well, takes care of that. Run off. Well done. So, uh, you guys were having a conversation. Just wanted to hear a bit more about that. You yes. Uh, are you looking for we're someone? Looking for information about a woman. A foreigner in these lands. She's a red guard like us. We believe she may be hiding in Whiterun, but we're checking everywhere to be sure. Well, you're uh, a ways from Whiterun yet, but uh, I wish you luck, I suppose. All right then. All right then. Who are you? Need something? I was hoping to assist you with what's going on here, but you've got it all handled. Well enough. Oh, those red guards, strange folk. But they also have a culture. Very uh, weapon based culture. My father would, would admire this sort of culture. Although my father was more into the armor smithing. Ah. Yet another cave to explore. Perhaps this one should have some undead as well. Hmm. And I do hope that Miko is okay. Seeing those wolves cut down by the red guards. Hmm. Does not make me take heart. He is part wolf, obviously, but uh, not a wolf hound, you know? Ah, he must be treated gently. For as big and aggressive as he is, he's such a sweetheart. Follows Brandar to the ends of the earth. Oh my. What is all of this then? Oh. Ah! Surprises. Where did this come from? Brandar doesn't much enjoy that. I did see some undead. Ah, I'm going to remove this. Remove this as soon as possible. Preventing myself from further injuries. Ah, yes. The skeletons. Do so love using Dawnbreaker. Ah. Brandar is a warrior of the light. 
you shall find the light one way or the other. Where does this other skeleton go? There you are. <laughs> Before he even raises a hand, down he goes. I should hope there is something a bit tougher than skeletons inside this place, hmm? I would like to uncover some of its mysteries. Oof. Getting colder as we go up. Perhaps we shall reach the top of a mountain. That would not surprise me one bit. Hmm. Couple of tomes here. Interesting. Ah, uh, helmet. No, no, none of these. But this dwarven armor. Ah, so heavy it is. I shall hold it for now. We shall surely find a place to upload these things. Hmm. Is this undead or no? Hard to tell. Iron arrows, bloody rags. Well, I suppose uh, there's one way to find out. We must take down his minions first. Yes, this is the way to go about things. And there it is. Pays no attention. That is fortunate, I suppose. Perhaps I could just, uh... A little look in your pocket, huh, friend? You wouldn't mind that too much, would you? Hmm. He's got a little potion. A bit of alchemical ingredients. Yes. I shall leave these things for now. But I felt the warmth of his body as well. He is certainly human. We are going to have to take him down in the human fashion. Dawnbreaker uh, would probably have some effect, I suppose. It is a blade after all, but... Indeed, indeed, we are going to have to uh, keep this fellow from casting. Where is that poison that I made? The special one. The Mage Killer. Hmm. Here we are. Damage Magica Regen. Yes, for 27 seconds. Okay, <laughs> the fight should be over long before that. Have some of this. Damn, brother, does not fear you. Ah. These ice spells I'll see have never been a favorite of mine. Ah. Goodness. He had quite a bit of power to him. Not enough. I tell you this much. Hmm. He's been doing quite a bit of reading. That's quite nice. Hmm. Let me have a look through your pockets first before I uh, rifle through your tomes, hmm? I think that's uh, a bit more proper. Drought of Resist Cold, Ebony Dagger. You don't need these things, Mr. Mage. Don't you know that? Dagger is no good for you. Book of Daedra. Quite sure we've read through this, huh? Oh, this is about the Daedric Gods. Yes, I, I show some interest in this. How about the uh, the Warrior's Charge? Yes, this was the poem from the Red Guards. The stars sung far-flung tales, reaped in the silver of Yakoda Fair, of a warrior who, arrayed in hue sails, his charges through the serpent snare, and the Lord of Runes, so bored so soon, leaves the ship for an evening's dare, 
perchance to wake the coiled snake, to take its shirt of scales to wear. And the lady east, who airy beast, asleep or a prow can rouse a scare, screams as her eye a light in the sky, a worm no goodly sight can bear. And the mailed steed adjoins the deed, not to be undone from his worthy share, rides the night towards scale bright, leaving the seasoned warrior's care. Then the serpent rose, and made stead to close, the targets lay plain and there, but the warrior's blade, the snake unmade, and the charges wander, no more, they swear. Hmm. Interesting one, short one. Tell me about the Daedra. I want to know. Yes. What do you say about my my charge Meridia, hmm? Azura, whose sphere is dawn and dusk, the magic in between realms of twilight known as Moonshadow, Mother of Rose, and Queen of the Night Sky. Azura lays people to rest, I see. Boethia, whose sphere is deceit and conspiracy, and the secret plots of murder, assassination, treason, and unlawful overthrow of authority. Clavicus Vile, whose fear is granting of power and wishes through ritual invocations and pact. Hermias Mora, whose fear is scrying of the tides of fate of the past and future as read in the stars and heavens, and in whose dominion are the treasures of knowledge and memory. Hercene, whose fear is the hunt, the sport of Daedra, the great game, the chase, known as the huntsman, and the father of man-beasts. Hermias Mora and her scene are not evil, neither is Meridia. The, the Daedric princes seem to be split down the middle. You have the good ones, you have the extremely evil ones. Malakath, whose sphere is the patronage of the spurned and ostracized, the keeper of the sworn oath and the bloody kirth. Merun's Dagon, whose sphere is destruction, change, revolution, energy, and ambition. Mephila, whose sphere is obscured to mortals, known by the names Web Spinner, Spinner, and the Spider, whose only consistent theme seems to be interference in the affairs of mortals for her amusement. Meridia, whose sphere is obscured to mortals, who's associated with the energies of living things. Ah, uh, this is why she does not like the undead. I see. I think her and her scene should get along quite well, yes? Although Hersin does end living things with his love of the hunt. <laughs> Molag Bal, whose sphere is the domination and enslavement of mortals, whose desire is to harvest the souls of mortals and to bring mortal souls within his sway by spreading spe seeds of strife and discord in the mortal realms. Namira, whose sphere is the ancient darkness, known as the Spear of Daedra, ruler of sundry dark and shadowy spirits, associated with spiders, insects, slugs, and other repulsive creatures which inspire mortals with instinctive revulsion. Nocturnal, whose sphere is the night and darkness, who is only known as the Night Mistress. Perite. Per Perite. Yes, Perite. Whose sphere is... The ordering of the lowest orders of oblivion, known of the Taskmaster. Sanguine, whose fear is hedonistic revelry and debauchery, and passionate indulgences of darker natures. Sheagorath, whose fear is madness and whose motives are unknowable. Nerma, Vernema, Ver whose fear is of dreams and nightmares, and from whom rep from whose realms issues forth evil omens. Especially marked for special interest under the heading Malachant, you'll find a reference to Scorb, to Scourge, blessed by Malachant and dedicated to the use of mortals. In short, the reference suggests that any Daedra attempting to invoke the weapon's powers will be expelled into the void streams of oblivion. Of the legendary artifacts of the Daedra, many are well known, like Azura Star and Sheagoras Wabajak. Others are less well known, like Scourge, Macan's Hammer, Bane of Daedra, yet through Malachan's blessed Scourge to be potent against his Daedra kin, he thought that it should fall into Daedra hands than to serve as a tool for private war among Kaitif and the Forsaken. Thus did Malachan curse the device such that should any Darkkin seek to invoke its powers, that a void should open and swallow him, that Daedra and purge him into the oblivion void streams. 
from thence to pathfind back to the real and unreal worlds in the full order of time. Well, I didn't understand that last little bit at all, but quite nice to uh, have somewhat of a consultation to the different daedric princes. Some friendly, some not so much. I think Brandar shall keep this book for later. A nice reference, if you were to ask me. Hmm. And it seems, uh, this place is a bit short as well. A bit short on action. Let us try and unlock this cage. How's that for action? Hmm? It's not much action at all. There we are. To the left, to the left. How's some of this? Ah, it's a good thing I bought so many lockpicks, huh? Otherwise, I would not be having so much fun. Ah, gold necklace. Quite glad we picked our way in. Might there be more to uh, uncover in this place? Hello, Mr. Skeleton. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Skeleton. None of this madness. I purge you. Yes. I shall purge them all. Hmm. Seems no treasure down this way. There we are. I knew for a fact there would be some. But I've also uh, seem to have unleashed a bit of destruction on myself. Should have been watching for the strings. You see, this mace has fallen. Oh, I almost took a chunk out of Brandar's head. My pretty, pretty face would be no more. Were the flail to have its way. <laughs> Ah, I did notice the rune on the floor. Why does this always happen? Hmm. Must keep my wits about me. Good reminder, I suppose. And here, a bit of freedom. South Brittle Shin Pass. Hmm. One can only guess where I've come out. I seem to be a bit lost, huh? Though I suppose that's nothing new. Richard will be waiting for me on the other end of this, this cave. I hate to abandon him. Ah... Miko and Richard. I shall miss them dearly. Surely they shan't outlive Brandar. Feels like I've been here for ages. A life never ending. Surely that can't be true, hmm? Every life must end at some point. Where will Brandar find his? Hmm. One can only guess. I care not to explore this flooded castle. Ah, look at the lights in the sky. They light my way, they invite my way. So says I. Oh, a chest. Most fortunate. Yes, my bag getting quite heavy now. I must soon find a... Uh, a vendor of sorts. Uh, but uh, we can take just a bit more time. I'm not in such a rush. I'm no longer looking to help the storm cloaks. Simply looking to help myself. Simply looking to find my way. Which I suppose is a... Uh, just. It should be most people's reason. And I suppose it is. Brandar was an idealistic fool. 
for a while. Trying to think that people would uh, do the best for others beside themselves. <laughs> what a joke that is, huh? Now he knows better. I shall try not to let it sully my vision so much. I don't want to uh, see the world in a bleak light. There's still much beauty to be had. But I will no longer be a fool either. Blinded. Blinded by idealism. Blinded by ambition. To be wanted in a place where I obviously will never be. Hmm. A shame. They could have had a powerful ally. Instead, they have made a powerful... Hmm, I suppose foe is not the word. A powerful, indifferent acquaintance. <laughs> yes, that is what we should call it. Ah. Many caves out this way. Hello? Fascinating. You! Over here, please, I need help. Please, oh. I'm not sure I'll make it on my own. Well, what do you need help Thank with, friend? Thank for you, stranger. I'd almost given up hope of walking away from here. What are you doing? We dragged a bear to this den. Good coin for those pelts. We had the big sow cornered when they showed up. Three of them, out of nowhere. Spriggins. Niels went down before we even oh. knew to run. Ari died just inside. I never even thought the things were real. I may have lost a drop or two of blood. Truth is, I'm not going anywhere like this. Ah, hurts to breathe. Spriggins. Well, I do have a, a spell that I learned back in Morrowind. Perhaps uh, this could help Thank you. you, huh? Please hurry. Hmm. Let's see. I've got the uh the healing hands. Is this going to help you? No, it helps me. How about uh if I just cauterize the wounds, huh? Oh that that's not good. Whoopsie doopsie. Sorry about that, friend. Sometimes uh <laughs> Sometimes Brandar knows not what he do. I apologize. But a good amount of arrows. Can't let that go to waste. The bear in the cave. Hmm. Brandar should at least have a look, no? I know I do fear the Spriggans. Not looking forward to that. <sighs> let's just let's just have a peek. A little peek never hurt anyone, huh? Yes, look at them there. It is a uh, a woman. Not a woman so much as a, a swarm of bees. Oh my. He is angry. I'm sorry about this. Oh, not the bear. The bear is mad as well. Let us hide from the bear. I'm sorry about this. I know how that goes, you know? You think that you're, uh... You're helped by the spirits of the forest. And then somebody comes along and shoots the forest spirit. Ah, and the hunter's friends just down in here. Well, I suppose I can rest uh, easy. But at least he will be joining them. Needn't go it alone in life, as it were. So, again, Brandar shows his humanitarian side. Hmm? <laughs> Uh. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye.
I see you again Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends